Well, you can see I have the skeleton farm working and I have it set up so that uh, these guys are converting into strays before they drop down. Most of them. The cobweb and the powdered snow. Oh, make sure that just before they fall down, they convert over to stray. So we get a supply of slow slowness arrows as well as uh, skeletons. They have plenty of bones and <laughs> all the accoutrement. So, but yeah, they just come up here. They uh, take their time. There's glass between us and them, so they're not they're not shooting, thankfully. And if we're lucky, we'll see one actually convert. Yeah, keep looking, keep looking just before they go down. They should switch. There it goes. There it goes. Nice. Sweet. I'm actually out of range from up here. Just a little further below, you can see, well, barely see where they drop and then shoot up to that chamber above. And then... This is where they fall once they convert. Thanks for helping demonstrate. Ah, that's my own off redstone because I have the option to turn that off. And we have a enchantment set up down here as well, as well as a window so we can see we're active. And strays. There's a couple of other things that I've been working on down here. I should show you. Well, I have the um, drop in the uh, lift chamber and over here uh, interrupted by glow squids. I do that sometimes in the water. This is uh, Silent Whispers Moss. Uh, I lost the word. Moss Farm machine basically oh I emptied that one earlier uh, but it comes out split and it just so happens that this one is enough to run the machine by itself so anything on this side is bonus and I'm thinking I might just pipe that back up oh not this one I have it set up so you can manually refill but if I pipe the one side up so that it refills the moss farm will just operate well as long as I have it on thankfully there is an on off switch I would have to keep refilling it manually so I might do that I actually made a second version over here but this one's for moss so I take the bone meal and run this one to get extra moss i would not have done this had we not already found moss but since we had moss already i, I didn't feel that that was a problem i think that's the way i'm gonna approach farms and i'm gonna do more farms down here one of which yeah you could probably maybe see this one back here there you are my friend so i I don't think there's in bedrock there's a good way to figure out your moss chunks I'm, ah. <laughs> slime chunks i don't think there's a good way to figure out your slime chunks so once i knew there were slimes here uh, i did ha i did go and research what the chunks were this is one this is two and I believe the third one is the chunk I have this one in. So what I would do in that case is uh, just put some, because you can do layers for slime farms anyway. I just need to put a layer above it that they can spawn on. And I'll do layers above. And I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll just have to have this one empty as well. And then I can put, uh, since there's one there, one two across there, and one across there, if I put a uh, catch farm over here, you know, the iron golems, the magma, and the uh, cart to collect all the things, then that would work. So that's the plan. You see, I think around here, we have a natural glow squid farm right here. So it might become more of a permanent glow squid farm. Um, 
they, they naturally die and the stuff just washes over here with the waterfall anyway so it, either that or i can just manually harvest them as well uh, but also back here since we have the couple of farms there i'm really leaning towards putting a, an iron farm in here and just with um trades so uh, obviously I want to show a lot of the just like the moss farm I just strictly followed tutorial on that so there was no point in showing anything except the completed version the one thing I might also do is, is uh, let's see this is this is the spawner over here I think on the other side of the enchantment room Make make a mob drop farm on that side, so that I ha I can do that, or do that, and it just makes the experience uh, generate just a little bit faster. Doesn't help that I died <laughs> and lost all my good stuff. Yeah, see, I've been gradually killing and collecting some slimes there. But that was a nether issue, and I will show you that real quick. Okay, down here through our main portal. Uh, once I get down here, really need to decorate this as well. The rest of the way down. Oh, right. I need a... Um, the benefit to having the moth farm is that now I have this side carpeted, so that should help a lot. And the other thing I did, let's see. Okay, I am very much a chicken when it comes to navigating the nether. And, oh, it's still there. Ah, uh, okay. Um, what, I, what I'm trying to do is, yes, there we go. I was trying to get uh, closer to a nether fortress without, uh, I was trying to work my way up and died. So all the gear I have, I've been working on restoring, but I've lost, except for one piece, I think uh, Fortunato, the fortune pick, I still have, but all the rest of this is uh, original, but I was hoping to recover the ancient debris because I have a long tunnel here, 800, 600 blocks. Uh, I probably, this is probably a lesson for me to get over my fear of doing the top side of the nether especially since i've been doing the uh s p with incendium and seeing how much worse it can be <laughs> that is far far worse than the nether we have in vanilla <laughs> oh it's enough to make me long for the regular nether, the vanilla nether. Ah, the regular nether and vanilla. Wow. I think you know what I mean. But I'll spare you the long journey back. Uh, because I have a build project. It's time to get a home in Sweet Valley. Okay, so if you remember the uh, navigation around, I've done it. I did fill this in and make this a uh, pond as well. Of course, the fishing shack is over on the other side. And I think once we build the house, I'm going to have an extension over here that I can fish up out of the house as well. The only problem I have with the fishing shack is, let's see, go over and show you real quick. It's all the way the other end where you fish from. Uh, I made this level with the water. It really should be one or two above to keep you safe from the mobs in the water that way you know you don't get blown up <laughs> by creepers and some such all right so home sweet home we're building right here um i've already kind of made a line of where i want the floor to go so our our drop shaft down to the skeleton farm is actually right here is the drop that's the up uh so what i will do probably here is just stare down to here make this its own room and and put a second floor above it as well uh, i do plan on it being a couple of stories and i guess i should really just get started 
uh, but I do want it to come pretty much down right to where the path is so it's gonna be a little bit longer um, I don't know if I will initially go over too far wide but I think there may be several extensions and one extension is gonna come over down towards the lake and be its own little fishing house As usual, I am building on the fly. <laughs> so we'll see how this works. I am not sure how it's gonna look. Kinda thinking spider leg type support, sorta. So we'll see. Kind of going a little bit of inside out. Just went with the floor first. I had more of an idea of where I wanted the floor to go first. I want more of that to be dark oak on the border. It'll set off these spider legs ish things so much better. I'm using the polished diorite for this. I didn't think I would be using diorite for this build, but uh, there we go. Yeah. Kind of. That too. No longer be a path block. Aha. Oh, oh, hello. Hi. Don't know where you came from, but okay. Might extend that tree down one. Just make it a part of the thing. You're gonna have to at least come over one more. those and we'll extend that one all the way down and take a nap okay i have a weird setup here let me explain i am not much of a redstone minecrafter so what we have is basically a dropper item elevator that starts here this is a pulse extender, which basically slows that down and means more of these, more items shoot out of here than normally would. And then we have basically a, there we go. Item elevator, which is a glass item elevator. This part comes from one up MC, the, this part, the on off switch, that's purely me. The pulse extender here I got from Gecko. Uh, we'll link both of theirs in the description. And the whole reason I did this is so when I'm coming up here. <laughs> hey. And it only did one again. Why did it only do one? Oh, I have uh, I have that secure so that the items drop back down to where they're supposed to. So one of MC is actually has a, um, his goes into a storage system. Mine I actually wanted for a visual doorbell. <laughs> and uh, I might have to, uh, yeah, it's just one item again. I have moss, I have amethyst, and I have, here we, you can tell you, all three pleasure plates uh, will activate it, but it only goes through one thing. Uh, the signal comes all the way around back here. Both sides have the pulse extender and then the lineup with the dropper in the center is right here. Oh, wait, no, that's the dropper. Okay, see that's all items there. That is all items there. So they're all there. For some reason, the pulse extender seems to be... I, I broke it with water. A little bit ago by accident so i'm wondering if if i just need to reset a couple of the redstone lines uh to get it to act correctly so these are on full delay on the sides here i don't actually have a delay yeah i have a full delay there not these two though and let me see if that fixes it hopefully we should have about five items come up, not just one. Okay, well, I'm not gonna keep you here while I troubleshoot. I'll just bring you back when I have it ready. And uh, in the meantime, I actually wanted to set up a chime there as well. 
So we'll see how that works. I've got a very basic doorbell put in. And we still get at least one item going up and over and down. So we still get a little bit of visual there. Actually might shorten the delay a little bit. As you're going up the steps, you don't, it doesn't show up until almost the time you get up here. So I made one minor adjustment to the stairs. I brought them a little further out here, which I'll just swing the path a little further down by this lake. And also, we could just have a, a landing so the door is more visible. Wanted to play a little bit with the mangrove and the tree wood. Don't have a lot of mangrove wood. Um, I do think I am going to, I don't know, I'm gonna have to experiment and see what kind of, uh, wood I want for the walls. Um, I think, uh, one of the farms that I think I'm going to put in, since we know anybody can farm wood the manual way. Silent Whisper does have a couple of automatic tree farms and I think one underneath uh, where all the main farms are and then I believe <laughs> uh, if you haven't heard the doorbell yet that yet there it is let's see I've been farming wood down here and I think maybe if I think I would still have to farm the uh, the nether woods down here I'm wondering I don't know how much room there is back here. I could always enlarge it, but there's a good bit of space back here. And I could actually just, um, since it's a mountain, there's plenty of ways to go up. And I think there's some room up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. over on this side, there's already some room over here. Yeah, there's actually plenty of room few more plans and I'm gonna get to finishing this up it would feel good to be able to skip a stone across the pond right now I think that would be cool don't you wish we could do that this is where we are I'm debating uh, I'm gonna wait until I get further up but I'm debating if these these supports these white ones should go further up and I had more of an idea to have them mixed with or the standard wood ones. So maybe I should have alternated. So we'll see. And while I work on this up here, darker pattern or mixed in. I think I have oak mixed in. And I think I'll do a mix of all three. I'm thinking about leaving those two trees as part of the build. I think all my stairs and things are gonna be from this back section here. I'm a bit low on birch now. I had some up at the mountain cabin. Now that, actually, I kinda like that view. Those don't seem correct exactly, but I didn't want them to be normal-ish. I guess you can see them okay. I don't know if I like the pink, but the whole purpose of my stuff at the moment is to be a little bit different like that oh we're coming up right into the tree okay that's fine and then i need one more right there and come up right into the wall well if i put a door here that's not horrible i know i'm rambling at this point but uh I'd, I'd rather like the inside, the way these walls look, and then over here, and I know I need to cut and then do something else. Maybe what I'll do is take some of these more straighter ones and make those go up so that these are some different heights, and then probably put a couple darker ones in. Okay, I got the top floor framed. I think I'm going to build a deck out front, but... I think maybe I need to raise it up a block just so it doesn't crowd the doorway there. Where's the out 
one of the upstairs and oh, I'll be this is from a different perspective as well I think I'm going to do the outline of the top of the roof in copper I don't have enough copper I think to do the whole roof I had to take a break to get more copper basically but that's got me up to 35 levels and now I can finally finally repair fortunate one that might be the last time I can repair this one maybe returning you shortly all right well, that took all 34 levels wow okay I have the basic roof outline in I haven't waxed any of this copper so I'm anticipating it going to the final stage just want the the thing to show its age and it's apparently already aging since I guess I've been in this area quite a bit we have four floors so far and we could even go down not only that but there's probably room to do stuff up there but I duplicated oops hold on uh, I had to repair deadwood missed this one apparently um, duplicated the bottom floor on this one we have a balcony on that floor uh, I kept the stairs as birch thought it was easier to find them especially on this floor so these are granite so it's like uh, cherry granite cherry Not sure how much of this I've shown <laughs> uh, there's a door that goes out here that lets us access up there easier I might even do a walkway from the top Set another door just nearby it that also lets us out for access and of course this is the front door and also has a side and back door I like having a lot of entrances and exits and uh, balcony once once we reach the point of having you know some sort of flight capability the, ba the balcony would give us a way to fly in actually here we are I haven't readjusted the legs yet but um I thought the doesn't look as well from the front yeah. I kind of thought the cherry granite cherry mix on the side would be okay we'll see I'm thinking warped wood would probably match the um final stage of the copper the weathered what is it weather is the most past weathered copper it's oxidized I guess uh, the best so I'm leaning towards that could make up my mind between that or dark slate deep slate some sort of form of deep slate though I made that out of did I make that out of deep slate uh, or that might be blackstone uh, I looked at blackstone too or, or regular stone see that's regular stone that's a darker stone I don't know that I've looked at it too much from the standing stone side mostly because a large portion of it is hidden but from up here if I can get over here so this is actually even with the roof here so I was even thinking I might do it with it right here I'll stagger those up do it right here and just keep it a smaller pathway but then it would be lead you right up to the standing stones up here and uh or the yeah I'm gonna build like a town hall somewhere in the center here eventually lots of plans I meant to record more of this uh roof building than I actually have apparently ah oh, I am feeling sensitive today with the uh controls here whoa, 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 whoa. Why, why did that happen I did not pick that oof okay there we go i think i have it now hopefully at any rate we'll record a little bit of this so that i don't have the roof entirely entirely from scratch that's probably wording it wrong but that's all right There we go and this 
side is complete. Got the ribs in. They will slowly age over time, but they may shift around a little bit. Need to put probably a floor level in up here. That's done. Might just do the sides and leave out the ends, possibly. We'll see. Should block it off for the time being. I think we're gonna go five wide on this thing. Because I want a three wide fireplace and I didn't get this quite cleared out enough. Probably gonna have to lose that as well. Just so we don't have um campfires won't spread, but that way we're giving the correct impression. Okay, so this is going to be my actual chimney should be. Big and rounded enough so far, do we? There has been a lot since probably I last recorded, and I'm down to you know, just detailing the outside a little bit. I've uh, run some greenery down the roof. I tried to make some some dark lines down some of the roof portions, and I added in there's there's like a whole bunch of uh, dormer windows out the roof. <laughs> Probably too many. Uh, this is a huge house, much bigger than I meant to build it. So I think I'm going to have to increase the size of those standing stones eventually. And I think the house is a little bit tall, but I like it. Um, I did change the, I don't know what level that is. Okay, we need to just go look closer, right? <laughs> oh, uh, I'm out of range. Only one chimney is smoking. All right, let's go take a, a better look. Get down here a little bit closer. I changed up... <laughs> I got that fixed. I got that fixed. I got. Oh! Shep! <gasps> I got it fixed so it only does. Wait, I gotta go check this out. Wait, wait, wait. Can you. Oh! Shep! That's not the original Shep. Okay, I got it fixed. Um. I put a torch on the wrong side and I extended it so now it's six items, but <gasps> if you keep standing on it, they keep going. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't know that. That's awesome. And then it stays until you actually come up here. Oh, that's so cool. My visual doorbell. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I don't remember what I showed last. So why don't we go top? Should I go top down? I guess I am. Okay. So this is the balcony level. And we have these nice little things here. You know, and see, we have greenery come down. And the black is where the water drips down. So I've tried to make it a little bit more like that. And uh, nice view, which I, I love my views. So um, we have uh, both ends plus a few of these on either side. So you get wonderful views. And uh, I made this, I had narrow strips here and I made it a little bit wider, but I wanted to leave open things. I might have to hang some chandeliers or something. And the chimneys, there's, that side is more the kitchen side. This is more the 
furnace enjoying your fireplace side and um but i they're on every single floor <laughs> it was like why waste the big chimneys and uh so no matter where you are you get a decent view this this last one is a little bit narrow but that's okay even the poor view of the standing stones this this that's probably my least well view all right so this is actually where the roof starts <laughs> And we have a wonderful view, of course. Um, and then these aren't as extensive. They just come right out to the railing. And I thought, you know, maybe one day we'll be able to fly in and out of up here. Um, the floors on some of these still need some work. They're not as extensive as the one floor I did. Uh, I don't think this one's changed that much. I did add in the... Um, this <clears throat> door mats this is the kind of ring a bell I did change these uh, I changed this to polished granite and it works so much better and you have little cubby holes and you can even look up and see the sky <clears throat> and this is the level where the uh, uh, visual doorbell comes up to and you have the original balcony here I also need to put a bed on every floor <laughs> this is my basic floor because that goes down to the uh, spawner <clears throat> these two floors I've, I've worked up a little bit the rest of them I have not I may uh, I need to make an entrance to the um, probably down here I'll, I'll make an entrance to a basement and I think I'm gonna hook up um, Probably somewhere along here, like a chest, like one for the smoke, one for a smoker array, one for a standard furnace, and one for a little bit of a blast furnace array, eventually. So, and this is the, uh, I added a gate here to the entrance. Um, I kept getting visitors, and what I do love is that, uh, Every once in a while, a cow or a pig or sheep or something will just walk across my doorbell. And I like that. I think that's very neat. I really like how this has come out so far. What was I going to do? I was going to add some of these and grow these up. This, this actually looks like a decent spot, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That actually grew in that direction, which is even better. Uh, I need to move my bed again. Because it's... <laughs> I'm going to love that every single time. That's just awesome. I do need to maybe put some fences along here. And maybe do something with those windows. I tried to... Uh, hopefully I didn't make it too overgrown. But I did try to incorporate a bit more in the way of... Oh, beautiful. Oh, nice. I like that. Uh, woods and things. I mean, um, greenery and, you know, just general life. Could try it there. Oh, there we go. As long as it didn't cover up my windows. Finally did clean up my, uh, my test redstone here um i think i said let me see if i can get back down here i tried to straighten this up a little bit uh yeah what was throwing me off was i had the torch over here instead of I had it on that block instead of that block and it, it would only do like one item instead of now it's doing six so much much better i went the wrong way um but yeah, I need to make more of a basement down here, I think. That's for another time. There's a lot of little details yet. I probably need to add some buttons and trapdoors and things. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Let me know what you think of my house. I, I love it, especially my visual doorbell, uh, which, which I think was just a cool idea. Oh, the items ran out. Uh, they should refill. There they go. 
I may have to add a few more items <laughs> so they don't run out. Home Sweet Hollow Home. Here we have the Sweet Hollow Home. So let me know what you think of it, what I can do to make it better. <laughs> it's bigger than I expected. Still got a lot of work to do on the interior and probably quite a few details. Next thing we gotta do, I wanna work on a villager breeder and a trading hall. But for that, I need to find some blaze rods so we can start doing potions. Thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.